Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different this evening. Um, when I fish this stretch, which I do on a fairly regular basis, there's often a few perch and a few pike, but there is an abundance of common um, grass carp, um, roach, bream, you know, absolutely packed. So there's a bit of a change. I've rigged up just a fr kind of a free line really on um, using the BFS gear. Just a little bit of bread flake, a little size, I think I've gone for a size 14 inline hook. And I've just put a little soft plastic, well, at the end of a little leech on the end actually, just so it's like a little maggot. Um, yeah, just see what we can do. So it's a bit different, but um, rather than just throwing the jigs out, I'm just going to see if I can stalk to find some of the bigger fish because I don't want the little ones pecking at this. I want to find a, a shoal of bigger roach or, or grass carp or something sitting on the top. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, it's a little bit of a repurpose of the BFS gear, I mean I could use other gear but why not use this, I can always switch over to use laws as well if I want them. Um, so there we go, that's what we're doing this evening. Hope you enjoy the video guys, I'll catch you on the bank soon. There you go, guys. I'm not going to play with that too much, but I've got a little bream. Let's go. So what I'm doing here, guys, is just get a bit of flake pinching it in front. I've got a little um, float stop in front of the hook here. I'm just pinching it over that and I'm just trying to leave the little the hook with a little bit of soft plastic exposed. I am basically bait fishing, I realise that, but I want to uh, <laughs> I wanted to do it using the BFS gear just because I don't have to bring lots of different kit, lots of equipment. I can just tie on a different trace if I want to makes it nice and easy so I appreciate I'm probably overcomplicating what is usually a very simple fishing method um, but if it means I only have to bring one rod and one bag then I'm happy with that uh, right let's see if we can find I can't see any more fish on the surface there let's just walk up the bank a bit right guys there's a few fish don't know why I'm whispering, I'm pretty sure they can't hear me, but there's a few fish in the middle, so I'm going to try and cast over the top with this soggy lump, my pretend maggot, and see if... Oh, yeah, they like that. There we go. What we got there? A little roach? I think it is now. That's only, it's not particularly big, but I'm going to net these because I don't want them to. Uh, they've got softer mouths, so I don't want to. Uh, don't want to hurt them. There we go. That's a good, uh, good size for a pike live bait, that one, isn't it? Easy on the hook. Oh, 
little roach. Not very big. That's okay. Get that chat back. In fact, what mine do is there's a few over there. Maybe just leave that chap there and see if we can catch. See if we can catch a couple. Why not? <laughs> see if I can recast that. I bet that'll just come off. Oh, well, they all know what that is now. There we go. Whoa. Oh, nice fish, just coming having a look. Uh, can't see. Oh, yes, that was a nice take. the whoops that's the bream of the evening a slot monster of the evening <laughs> that one just came in and inhaled it <laughs> brilliant the stone on its back right I'm going to attempt to unhook this without touching it Just because I don't want to get utterly covered in slime. Oh, good job. Oh, no. Go on, there go. Perfect. Thank you for that. That's quite useful. That down to one side. There we go. This net's going to need a wash, isn't it? We are a bream. Bream on bread flake and soft plastic maggot. On the BFS gear as well. Cool. That was a good take. Saw that guy coming in and off. Go on, get out of me now. It's a, it's a rather... Go on, there you go. Surprisingly, it's not as easy as you would think this. <laughs> right, let's try and cast over. There's a few fish moving out there. Look. See that one just definitely, definitely hooked itself. Just nibbled. So it's a little, is that a little bream? Yeah. Oh, has it hooked itself? No. Oh. 
Oh. Trying to avoid getting my hands covered in snot. Still, there we go. Ugh. Bream slimed. Can try and avoid that if I could. They are gross, aren't they? That's cool, man. Not the bream slime. I apologise to the grass for using you to wipe the bream slime off me. Oh, let's put these trousers in the wash, aren't I? Gross. Whatever that is. No, no, no. You're not invited to this party. This is Fisher's. I suppose that'll, uh, that chap will prove the fact that it's edible. Might bring the fish to it. Let's see. No, 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 you're not having it. There we go. That's a slightly better fish. Slight fishing roach or whatever, whatever comes. Oh, there we go. Looks come out. So that's all. That's all that is. And as predator fishermen, we all know one of the pike's favourite foods. It's not a bad size, is it? That one. I'm not going to handle them or anything, I'll just go straight back. There we go. guys that was my intention for this evening look at that boy that is a that's awesome that slimy neighbor Bite out of it, go on. There we go. Is that another roach? I think they're um Oh 
Oh, mate. It's a nice sized fish. Let's take these flipping polarized, polarized, polarized specks off. Can't see anything. Right, I think it's, yeah, well, it's got a really kind of interesting marking or scar on its, its mouth, this one. Let's try and get hold of it to unhook it. It's still slimy. It's, a, it's got a really weird looking kind of scar on its front. Um, that's another nice, it's another nice fish. Getting back straight away. I don't know whether these are hybrid, hybrids or what, but I don't remember roach being that slimy. Maybe they are, I don't usually fish for them. Excellent, that's more like it. it. Wasn't a pound, but it's certainly certainly getting a bit bigger. Still some fish moving here, so let's go back to where we let's go back to where we started. There we go. Go on, don't come off there. Whoa. Awesome. Another one. That one almost pulled drag. Almost. Now are these, are these still roach or rud? I kind of find it a little bit difficult to tell. I think they're roach, aren't they, with the red eyes like that? There we go. Good size, isn't it? Pull that straight back down. Off he goes, no bother. Yeah. See, the problem now is I've coated my net handle in fish slime, and that means every time I pick it up, it's super slippy. So I nearly lost my, <laughs> lost my net in the water then. Okay, guys, I'm just casting off this uh, last bit of brand, just the last cast to see if we can get anything. Uh, take it um it's been a bit of a different video i hope you've enjoyed it it's uh it's not quite the same there's a big flash down there then um yeah it's a different kind of thing different approach it's nice just to be able to uh, use the bfs gear and um yeah target a different species really and, and i know you can fish laws for uh the silvers and stuff like that but it's not. It's never really that easy, and I've caught a few, but it doesn't. It's not quite the same as fishing with uh, fishing with flake because they definitely take the flake. There's no two ways about it. So I'll uh, I'll continue casting till this piece of um, bread disappears, which I suspect won't be very long. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll. Uh, I'll leave it running till we finish this, but yeah, catch you on the bank soon.